Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. A very, very, very happy Canada Day 2023 to you and yours up north, including Brent Gill 7180. Thank you very much for this comment here. Yeah, I don't want to neglect my Canadian audience here. And so let's do it. Let's talk about the Western Collegiate Baseball League. Super cool league. We're going to rank these logos today. But just to give a real quick brief history about the Summer Collegiate League here, the WCBL as we know it today began play in 2019. But its history can be traced back like decades before that. Many of these teams actually began play in 1931 under what was called the Southern Baseball League. And many of these teams that we're going to talk about today played under different leagues, uh, most notably in 2018 with the Western Major Baseball League. All of these teams are located exclusively in Saskatchewan and Alberta. So even though this is called the Western Canadian Baseball League, there's actually no teams in this league that play in British Columbia or the Northwest Territories, which would be wild. We may have to update this video a year from now because there is a team from Saskatoon that is set to play in 2024 to expand this league to a nice crisp 12 teams. But for now, let's start with number 11, what I consider to be the worst. That's gonna give us the Moose Jaw Miller Express. Quite the name there. I have to be honest here, full disclosure. I, I, this is no disrespect to the great and proud city of Moose Jaw. I'm sure there's plenty of fine folks up there. But uh, this logo is one of the worst that we've seen on this channel. Kind of a huge clash between the words Miller and Express. Miller's in this nice oval. Express kind of has this weird kind of upside down Nike checkmark thing going on. We've got white, black, and yellow just splattered in, all just kind of crashing together in this kind of hodgepodge. It's just a hot mess. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Moose Jaw, great city, I'm sure. I've always loved the name Moose Jaw, and I'm sure it's a fantastic place to visit, but this logo is wild. It's kind of threw some different styles together, and we got Miller and Express. Wild of a logo here, and we're gonna move on. At number 10, we've got the Regina Red Sox. I will admit that this looks great, objectively. It's just, it's, it's very clean and simple. We've got a baseball with some Red Sox in it, and um, guess what? There's another team that exists that has a baseball with some red socks in it. They're a pretty new team, pretty underground, not a lot of history here, so not a lot of people have probably heard of this team. The Boston Red Sox, if I'm saying this correctly. It could be Bastoon, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that 100%. And so it is kind of crazy that this Red Sox logo borrowed so heavily from Regina. I mean, they're basically just carbon copying Regina. I'm sure they're getting full permission from Regina to just steal their logo outright. Because this is a sick logo that Regina has. It's just very open and susceptible to copycats, speaking of cats. And the same can be said here for the Fort McMurray Giants. Because let's be honest, this logo is awesome. But again, it's just so open for copycats to just come in and just snatch this, this logo and just use it for their own. There's a team in California that started using this not that long ago. So again, these logos that we're using here, Regina and uh, Fort McMurray, come on, man, let's, let, let's let's just make the logo a little bit more interesting to keep these teams from just coming along and just stealing these simple designs here. All right, obviously I'm kidding here. Regina and Fort McMurray really did not do much to create a unique original logo here. They're, they're, they're very heavily borrowed from uh, some pretty historic teams in Major League Baseball. And so while these look good, objectively, they really do look nice. Uh, they're just not very original at all, um, especially in Regina's case over here. Like, come on, man, that's just like a carbon copy of the Red Sox. Like, who are we kidding? And so that's why these are ranked so low. Uh, in, in fact, you could probably argue that uh, the Moose Jaw Miller Express should be ranked ahead of these just because there's not a whole lot going on here that's very original. And while the Miller Express is like crazy and just horrid, if I can be honest here, um, it, it actually is a lot more original than what we're seeing up here. So yeah, screw it. Let's let's let's, let's change these up, and we'll I'll 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 be willing to put. Moose Jaw here at number nine. Shout out Fort McMurray though, because Fort McMurray is by far the most Northern team uh, that I've been able to find here. Fort McMurray is a good four and a half hours north of Edmonton, which is already kind of like an isolated major city. Fort McMurray really, really out there for this team to play and exist, I think is super cool. And it would be really fun to catch a game there for no other reason, just to say like, hey, I'm at the most Northern summer collegiate slash maybe like minor professional team here if we're ignoring Alaska, right? Because I'm pretty sure there's a couple teams in Fairbanks. And that's actually a good segue to our number eight team here. This is going to be the Edmonton Prospects. Now, I really don't find this to be a bad logo, quote unquote. I think it suffers from being a little bit too busy and a little too detailed with uh, all these different kinds of things going on. Prospector guy looks a little goofy and a bit cartoony here, but I love his baseball bat pickaxe that he's got. Super cool touch. I really can't get over though when I first saw this logo, his hat the top of it really looks like a bow tie. Like if we zoom out on this and look at it small, like tell me that doesn't look like a bow tie on top of his hat. I, I can't unsee that. It's a small thing, but it just kind of makes this funny, more funny to me than uh, 
than tough or fierce. So I think overall this is this is good. It's a fine logo. I just think it can be workshopped a little bit. I will say too, the Edmonton prospects are not playing currently in the 2023 season. They're building a brand new ballpark there in Edmonton. And it's uh, looking at these renderings here. It's going to be beautiful state-of-the-art facility. So good on you, Edmonton. You know, huge city that deserves to have uh, a nice facility for their ball club. And I think once the prospects continue play in 2024, this... Uh, this logo may get an upgrade as well. So again, we may be revisiting this league before much longer. At number seven, we've got one of the most successful teams in this league, the defending champs, the Oquitox Dogs. This is just a very classic, traditional looking baseball logo with a baseball in the background of a circular element, and then that kind of classic cursive fonts for you know a baseball team. This, this looks like just a very run-of-the-mill logo, no frills, no fuss, very traditional. This is kind of the bread and butter for how to make like a, just a just a classic iconic baseball logo. It looks really nice. Red, white, and black is always going to be a safe bet for color. So overall, yeah, the dog's logo, nothing negative I can say about it. It is just a super traditional looking logo. And so it's going to fall kind of right in the middle of this ranking here. At number six, we've got something a little bit more original and out there. <laughs> we've got the beavers here. Kind of a lot going on. This is sort of a lot to take in. The, the colors, for one thing, are very interesting. There's a ton of red going in here, and I'm not sure that I'm in love with, like, the gray trim that we see in the beaver. But, you know, red, blue, and white are always going to look good. The gray is kind of killing it for me a little bit here. And then we have two different fonts. We have this kind of, like, classic varsity block lettering here with uh, beavers and then in cursive up here. But overall, I love the energy that the beaver is giving. He looks very tough. It's a beaver with a baseball bat swinging away. I kind of wish more emphasis was put on just that aspect of this logo rather than like the huge varsity block lettering down there at the bottom and the cursive that we that we mentioned just a moment ago. This works for me, this is great, but again, just kind of maybe a theme going on in this logo. I feel like this could just be polished and touched up and revisited just a little bit. At number five, we've got the Medicine Hat Mavericks. Love the maple leaf in this logo. I, you know, we see that a lot with Canadian baseball teams. They're gonna have the maple leaf. Iconic, classic image of Canada. Automatically lets you know that we're looking at a Canadian team north of the border here. I'm a huge fan of that. I also like the font they've gone with for Medicine Hat and Mavericks. That looks really nice on either side of that baseball in the background. I think the only thing that's kind of killing me a little bit is just the Maverick itself. His mane looks really cool. He's got nice flowy hair, but this sort of like dumpy, frumpy kind of facial expression that he's making is so odd. It's very goofy, ex extremely cartoony, but overall I really, really like this logo. At number four, we've got the Lethbridge Bulls. Big, big fan of this bull, but I, again, I'm just screaming internally for a polished touch up here because it, for me, it's really kind of losing me with just the font and the text that we're seeing here, it's very hard to read and it gets very cluttered down there at the bottom of that baseball diamond that we can see. I really do like the bull itself though. I like the baseball that we can see, again, with that maple leaf, it's just a nice touch. We're looking at Canadian team for sure. But I think this is just begging, begging for some kind of like subtle tweaks. Get rid of the text. I don't care when the team was established. I never like seeing that, don't care. We can get rid of the words baseball club down there at the bottom too. Just clean, clean up that text. Get rid of the established, get rid of the baseball club text and it would look so much nicer. Maybe maybe decide on a different font. Maybe put a, a, a tiny outer glow or a trim on the word bulls just to make it kind of stand out a little bit better. Because this is, again, this is really difficult to read. If you are seeing an outer glow on this, it's because I added it in post. And if that's the case, this logo truly looks like this, which may be a little difficult to see the specific lettering for bulls there. Adam Toth made a rebrand. It was a it was a concept that he did. I'll link it. You can see it a little bit more fully. And I just think it looks awesome. I think it's a great redesign. And I think that this current Lethbridge Bulls is just screaming for, <laughs> for just some slight tweaking here. But overall, again, very strong. I really do like it. At number three, we've got the Brooks Bombers. Very clean, very cool looking logo. It's giving Air Force vibes for sure, especially with the name Bombers and that being reference uh, to a bomber airplane, which is why we can kind of see that in this alternate identity here. And and, that, and this looks incredible, but I've not only just seen this one, I've also seen an alternate logo in this logo here which gives me old Brooklyn Dodger vibes. I don't think this team has any bad logos at all. We're kind of just focusing exclusively on this one for now because this is the one that we can see on their website, which is kind of what I usually go with when I'm finding like official logos for this. So yeah, here we are, Brooks Bombers. Gorgeous, gorgeous logo. Again, the Maple Leafs, 
Love it, gotta have them. And this is just very clean, very crisp. It's always gonna look good with that like really nice, like softer blue, that red and white. It's like a cheat code for making a good baseball logo. Just use red, white, and blue, when in doubt, and you're gonna make a great logo. The symmetry here is great, the font choice is great. Not a single bad thing to say about the Brooks Bombers. Gorgeous logo. For our number two spot, we're gonna go with the Sylvan Lake Gulls. Again, we're talking gorgeous colors here, awesome symmetry, and just a extremely looking fierce mascot creature with this gull swooping down over this text. Yeah, man, that's awesome. That That's gonna get an A++ for me. This is a beautiful logo. I love these wings coming up, and I absolutely love the very small detail in there of the mountains that we can see over the G and the S for goals. I mean, he really is like coming up and rising over that text and over this little mountain range that the text creates with those little mountain peaks and caps in there. Not a single bad thing I can say about this logo either. Um, this was actually kind of a, a tough choice juggling these top three logos that we're looking at. Ultimately though, I had to give the number one spot to the 57s here that we can see at number one. Swift Current, man, what a beautiful, beautiful logo. One of the best that we've seen on this channel. So, I mean, talk about like a League of Extremes. We saw like one of the worst that we've talked about with the Moose Jaw Mill Express coming full circle here to, again, one of my favorites that I've ever had the privilege of talking about. Gorgeous logo here. For some reason, it's kind of difficult for me to put into words exactly like what I love so much about this logo. It's kind of one of the few ones for me where the font really sticks out and I, and I can't, I can't shake it. It's it's one of the most original font choices that I've seen for those numbers there for that 57. I just love like the subtle curves in the five and then that seven. It's also that, that color choice for me with that forest green and that orange. It's just so, so pretty. The stitching there on the baseball looks more like wheat to me, which I feel was an intentional choice being that this team is in Saskatchewan. So kind of like prairie country of Canada. This is every mark for me in the sense that it's simple, it's clean, it's crisp, and it's unique. I just can't say enough good things about this logo. I think it's perfect in every way. Awesome, awesome logo. Well, y'all, that's gonna do it for another League logo ranking. This was a lot of fun to put together. I've got more on deck, so stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already because I've got a lot of leagues here lined up that I'm excited to talk about. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this ranking here, whether you agree or disagree. I would love to know uh, what you gotta say. Again, very happy kind of today to you and yours. Let me know how you guys are celebrating. Um, I imagine probably a lot of poutine and Molson involved in there somewhere. Appreciate you guys as always. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for clicking. See you in the next video.